Guinness's brewery has dominated Dublin life and invaded our nostrils since 1759. Guinness is steeped in history with its policies of social progress for its workers and their families. I am Breda Woods and I am from Blue Bell in Chicago. I remember the smell. The hops, oh, I remember the, the smell hops. of the hops. The hops, yes. You get that, and my kids, I bring them down there, and I'm not going to Thomas Street with you. You have two smells. smells the, you have hops. A, the first you get the hops, and then you get O'Keefe, the knackers, you know, and that was shocking, O'Keefe. And then, oh, and then the that, that was worse than oh, the hops Jesus now. Jesus Christ. That was really, that That's was disgusting gone. now, honestly. But the hops was, I like the smell I, of the I hops. didn't mind the hops smell yeah. either. Yeah, I like the hops. Oh, God, yes, yes. And the smells of Kiev, the knackers, or the knackers, or the knackers. I mean, I lived quite close to that, so we were always told Guinness is the hops and Kiev's the knackers. They were all very healthy smells. So whether they were or not, I don't know. It didn't seem to affect us anyway, you know. We thrived on it. <laughs> I worked in Thomas Street, a little huckster shop, and it was there at the top of Bridgefoot Street. And I would go for, cycle from Drimna. The smell would be nauseating. It always seems stronger on a Monday because you've been away from it the weekend yeah. and you come back into it Monday and then, of course, there was O'Keefe's and Knackers. So there would be a combination of smells which weren't great. Um, you never, I never got used to them. I, no doubt people living in the area got used to them. When they were brewing the farm there, there was actually a smell of uh, perfume, more or less perfume, down the racking shed. Oh, it was very nice, uh, the smell itself. I don't know whether you get the same smell now again. This place was full of smells. Skin yards. <laughs> Abattoirs. Uh, every every butcher had their own little yard killing their own pigs. Talk about um, what did you call it? Organic. But the nicest smell of all was to come out in the in the autumn. We had it all year, but I always remember autumn. You were only back in school, and the leaves swirling everywhere, and that gorgeous smell of the the, the toast and what were the hops? The to oh, it was lovely. So we were. Killed with smell, all different sort, in, in and the sounds of the pigs and g getting driven to the slaughterhouses. Yeah, there was one major one down on Tenval House on the roof. It was an old air, uh, air raid warning siren, and when the money was moved from the top level to the lower level by train, we were safe on the tracks, and when that was being moved, the siren would go and all the gates would be closed for that duration. For my time, there were uh, time sirens. Not everyone had a clock or anything, you know. We had a great childhood, but we hadn't got everything. And people told the time from the horn going off for Guinnesses. And when they'd have a break, it was such a time. My mother would say, oh, it's such a time, and different things like that. And then the, in the evening, the hooter went again, so you knew it was five o'clock. I remember that, yeah. 